What is going on, you guys? Charlie here with MA Performance, and today we're going to be talking about our top five best-selling intakes for the Nissan 370Z, the older, well, I mean, technically younger brother to the 350Z. Now, this car was designed in 2005 and brought into production in 2008 until 2020. Now, making its run almost twice as long as the 350Z. Now, one thing a lot of people don't know is that intakes also act as more of like a horsepower multiplier. This is like our public service announcement in every single intake video, I swear. Intakes are a horsepower multiplier in a sense. Meaning, again, if you're pushing factory numbers, it's only gonna do so much. Now, as you scale up the amount of horsepower your car makes, so would the restrictions that a factory intake would potentially have on your performance. Now, again, that's not to say that that's the case on every single car out there because there are a lot of factory intakes that perform incredibly well. Ask somebody on the internet, they'll tell you all about it. Now, we are not giving you these in any particular order. You can make the determination you want about each of these. We think that these are the top five for the platform and they're the top five best-selling ones on our website. So check that out on www.maperformance.com or the link down in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump in to the first one. I don't mean to talk your ear off, let's go. Now, the first one on the list is the KNN Performance Air Intake. Now, this is a cone style intake filter coming in at a price of $399. Now, horsepower gains, as claimed from the manufacturer, 14 point something horsepower. So about 14 will be what you add. Main takeaways is that k and uh, bought a little bit of uh, customization with this intake system. Now you can actually get this uh, tubing in stainless or black while also getting the air intake filter itself in red or black either. So it gives you a nice flashy or the, uh, you know, murdered out look. If you're a big fan of Robin Big, you know about the murdered out. Now features for this one, install time is roughly like an hour to an hour and a half. It is made of mandrel bent aluminum tubing and it's washable. So again, lasts about 100,000 miles under like, you know, normal driving conditions. And it also comes with partial air boxes to prevent that dreaded heat soak that comes with intakes. And uh, not a whole lot else to really talk about. So without further ado, let's jump in and hear how it sounds. Now the next one on the list is the AEM Performance Cold Air Intake System. Now this one is also a cone style intake filter itself, coming in at the same price of $399. Now main takeaways is much like the K&N, these AEM intakes are washable and reusable, so should last around that same 100,000 mile mark. And the intake tubing has that high density polyethylene material, so it gives it a more wrinkle black styled look. So that OEM plus. Now main features takeaways on this is that it does come with a partially enclosed heat shield to again, prevent any of that hot air from coming into the intake itself. And it gives it a little bit more of a hidden look. Now it does come with AEM's limited lifetime warranty as well. So that's always an added perk, at least in my opinion. But without further delay, let's jump in and hear how this one sounds. And of course, check out how it looks. Next up on the list, number three is the InGen Cold Air Intake System. It has a cone style intake and holy cheese and rice. This one's coming in at about 615 bucks, giving you a gain of 15 horsepower. Now this InGen Cold Air Intake does have a clean stainless look, also offered in a black powder coated option to be much less noticeable. Again, kind of hide away in your engine bay. Now, this one does come with aluminum intake tubing it has no additional tuning required for it to operate safely, and it gives an aggressive tone under full throttle. Those induction noises are oh so sweet. So at least, you know, in my opinion, that's probably where what you're paying for is the additional effort spent in the R&D phase. They're catering to a different crowd than the other two intakes have been. So let's jump in and see how it sounds. I'm gonna start it, start it up. Now, the fourth one on the list is the Takata Stage 2 Pro Dry Intake System. Now, this is a cone air filter coming in at a swallowable price of 388. 
and it gives you nine horsepower as claimed by Takata. Now this shorter cold air intake system is designed with ease of installation in mind. Being our fastest advertised time by over half an hour, this intake will get you back on the road faster if that's ultimately your goal. Now main features on this, again, it is a shorter intake. The tubing itself is shorter. Now it does have clear coat anodized tubing to prevent any sort of oxidation. Huge plus for me there. Now the tubing is made out of aluminum. So again, lightweight, easier to dissipate some of that heat soak that may come into the piping material itself. Without further ado, let's jump in. Hear how this Takata one sounds because it's gonna sound oh so sweet. Now the fifth one on the list comes from the ever so reputable Stillin brand itself. This is their dual high flow intake and it does come with a cone style intake. Now this one does come in at a price of 577. While that may sound alarming, when it comes to anything Z related, Nissan related and the brand Stillin, you know that performance was designed at the forefront of their design, performance design, design, design gives you 17 and a half horsepower. Now, this ultra long mandrel bent polished aluminum is designed to increase horsepower and improve your engine bay visually. High quality bent aluminum, that's the main feature. It relocates the air intake filter for a true cold air induction setup, and it fits both the 370Z and the 370Z Nismo models. Again, for me, Stillin and Zs go together like lamb and tuna fish. If you know what that's from, you are a real one. Let's jump in and hear how this one sounds. It's gonna be better than lamb and tuna fish if you know what I'm saying. Hi. All right, guys, that's gonna be where we end it for today's video. If you guys like this one from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a big old thumbs up, turn on that bell notification and leave a little comment down below because that's what YouTube tells us you're supposed to do because that's the way they know you like our stuff. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next video. If you like this one, do that stuff. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Peace.